Good morning, everybody. I'm not sure how much of the snow you will see now, but yes, we have quite some snow. Uh, and it's pretty cold today. At least I didn't have to shovel it off. Um, I want to make this a quick video, and I often say this, and then it turns out to be long. But you know, we had now a lot of cup competitions. We had an FA Cup weekend. Uh, we had now Coppa del Rey over the past two days, and I think the Coppa Italia is coming up too. Which, oddly enough, I might actually be watching a little bit because you know I watch Milan. But overall, those cup competitions. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think I can maybe understand that we still have a cup competition out of tradition. Uh, but given the fact that you are um, only getting at best a Europa League spot says everything about it. Um, it's, in the big leagues, I think the cup competitions have a, a run its course. Now, uh, it, there are different formats of cup competitions out there. I think no, none is really unique. Um, but the long and short of it is that the big teams use the cup competition, at least in the early rounds, to rest the players and give the second string squads um, a chance. And I totally understand it doesn't always work out. We saw Liverpool losing this weekend to Wolves uh, because, yeah, the big three up front were not playing. I think it was even the um, uh, reserve goalkeeper. So, you know, you give in those competitions, you give your uh, the substitute goalkeeper a chance that he also gets a little playing time. So, I do understand it, but, you know, you shouldn't then come out to and expect that you win everything. And I think that's fair to say. And uh, if I think now in Liverpool's case, I know exactly what's the um, object for this season. The object for this season is to win the championship, which will be a tough enough task. I think we need we don't need to be make any illusions about that because uh, City has a super deep squad. And yes, they had hit a rough patch, but that rough patch, uh, that might have been it. And Liverpool has yet to hit a rough patch. I seriously hope they don't. I really want Liverpool to win this title. Um, but now it's four points and you had seven ahead of Man City earlier a little bit. It remains to be seen. Yeah. So. I totally understand that they played the second string squad there. Uh, similar yesterday, Barcelona lost at Levante 2-1 and there in Spain it's even more ridiculous uh, where you have a home and away leg. That to me is just absolutely loading the schedule for no particular reason whatsoever. Yes, they are probably uh, letting the uh, big name clubs get later into the competition. But still, uh, give them one game. I mean, if you're out, you're out. So Levante yesterday uh, against a truly second-string Barcelona squad. Uh, the only remarkable thing for that Barcelona squad to me is that Silasen, the Dutch national team goalkeeper, is the backup in Barcelona. Uh, which is great for Barcelona because you get a, a, you have another great goalkeeper just in case. But to be honest, if I was Silasen, I would get the hell out of Barcelona. Uh, I think Ter Stegen is here to stay. Ter Stegen is the, has proven to be the better goalkeeper. Uh, so, for that reason, I honestly would... Uh, if I was Silasen, I would ask for at least a loan deal, but I honestly would get out of Barcelona. Uh, go to another uh, bigger team that needs a good goalkeeper. He would be, for me, a prime example for that. Uh, I was really wondering whether there is still this old Dutch quota thing that uh, has to be in Barcelona. I don't think so, but you know. Um, it's also remarkable that Coutinho, which was the big acquisition uh, in the last January transfer window, um, he totally dropped off in Barcelona. Uh, he is a non factor. Uh, which is kind of sad, but also a little bit. I don't know if it's lucky or if uh, Liverpool saw the writing on the wall. Uh, they don't miss Coutinho, I think, 
with if you fear me uh, up front you have Salah and um, you have Mane so continue I think would will probably not even fit in the system so yeah uh, for those players uh, yeah so going back to, to the Barcelona uh, game they were within 20 20, 20 minutes down by 2-0 uh, probably should have been down by more and we get a late penalty that Coutinho that's why we got to him uh, converted it's 2-1 in the away game Barcelona has all the chance of making it uh, if they take it seriously again I really think that Barcelona will wants to win the Champions League this year I think everything uh, in their pre-program uh, and so on in the season Yes, we have won the league countless times. Uh, we can dominate this competition. If we are taken seriously, we will win this competition. This is, I think, what Barcelona has. And it also came to me lately that um, I think of the two big ones in Spain, uh, Barcelona has spent a lot more money. They are more like a Galacticos team at the moment than Real Madrid. And a little bit selling, and a little bit selling out on their mantra which was kind of having youth team players Barcelona is now for better or worse a little bit of squad of mercenaries yes the good ones are staying there for a long time which is a good thing but there's nothing there's hardly anything homegrown at least on the younger side uh, and therefore I think that Barcelona lost a little bit of their identity gotta say it that way but yeah so for the big teams, I really think that the cup competitions are... It's really the big chance to play your second string teams. Uh, justifiably so. Now where I have a little bit... It's a head scratcher is for teams like Leicester, who were eliminated by... What league? Third league team? Something really uh, embarrassing. Because, yes, Leicester will not get relegated. And Leicester will have a really hard time to get into the top six in England. So the cup competition is basically the only thing you have to get a spot. And that... That you don't take it seriously then, that's a little bit uh, more of a questionable move. But still, uh, maybe the league is just uh, more important to you. But I don't understand it. And lastly, what I really don't understand is why we have a League Cup. I mean, I understand it historically, but I think the League Cup to me is primed to be eliminated. This is a competition that no one needs and with Manchester City running rampant on Burton Albion yesterday, 9-0, uh, it becomes even more questionable. It is great to have those uh, little Cinderella stories that you make it in the next few rounds, but if you look at Burton Albion's uh, draw, there was nothing. It was more luck of the draw. Yes, they had, they usually beat higher league opponents, uh, but now you had to play City and it got ugly. And then the absolute ridiculousness of that, that in the semi final you have a home and the away leg. There should be a mercy rule. Don't play this game anymore and don't play their first leg at City. Give the lower level team at least one shot at Glory and then... I really don't... I really don't get it uh, in that case. So yeah, uh, for me this League Cup is an absolute idiotic competition that we really don't need. So yes, Tottenham Chelsea is interesting and I think they took it reasonably serious, the two teams. Um, still, it cannot get, get me excited. A competition like the Asian Cup, uh, that is where there is actually first string teams there, although it is a much uh, lower level of play but can get me way more excited than those cup competitions uh, because their value, meanwhile, is so diminished that I think no one, at least uh, if you're, I don't want to say, uh, a connoisseur of better football, uh, I think no one is really 
missing them. Uh, and I'm saying this from a country, coming from a country where the cup competition really is an afterthought and nothing more than that. Uh, here it has always been the league, I think in Germany and England to a slightly lesser degree in uh, uh, Spain. The competition holds a little bit more tradition and value. Uh, here in Austria you cannot fill even the final stadium. Just, just is not going to happen. Yeah, having said that, I probably will watch Milan Sampdoria uh, this weekend if I get a chance. Um, I actually don't know exactly when it will be played, but you know, as a Milan fan, for me this is kind of this, yeah, better get the Coppa Italia, it might get you the Europa League spot, and you should get anyway through the league, but you know, uh, maybe you can finally win something and have something to show for. Um, although if Juventus again gets to the final or semi-final, they will take it seriously from there. But the reality, the reality is you take a shot with your uh, second string teams during the uh, first few games. And if you make it to the semi-final, then yeah, you start to take it seriously. Maybe you, you still will keep the reserve goalkeeper. It's yeah, it's a strange thing overall. I gotta say. Well, let let me know if cup competitions can get you excited. I honestly, I barely have watched the thing. I may watch a cup final if I get the chance. Uh, and if there's a really big match matchup, yes. And I watch if Milan is playing. Uh, but that's about it. So let me know what you think about cup competitions in the comments. Uh, below also let, let me know which ones you're watching whether you think should also be some competitions could or should be abolished as well as I said I think the league cups are completely unnecessary and uh, at this time at this point by my time they should definitely be abolished well uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and I will talk to you soon bye hey there I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.